The future of Broken Arrow High School is expected to be decided in the spring. On Fox 23 News at 9 o'clock, we told you about the forums starting tonight to get public feedback on how the district should keep up with the growing enrollment. New, new tonight, Fox 23's Jonathan McCall reporting live from Broken Arrow with more information on what's next in this process. Jonathan. Two more forums will be held this weekend, Clay, uh, this week, I should say, Clay, one tomorrow and one on Thursday. After those forums, Broken Arrow school leaders say they plan to issue out a survey to get more feedback from the community. If you had two, it's probably, you're probably not helping yourself. You'd probably need to go to three high schools to, to make that work. It's the number of high schools that Broken Arrow superintendent, Dr. Jared Mendenhall, says is needed to keep up with the district's growing demand. When you are growing at that rate, you want to make sure that you have a long-term plan. Right now, the district is looking at three main options. That includes adding more schools to house all 9th through 12th graders, adding a sophomore center, or having specialized centers. Mendenhall says parents have to look at all of the options on the table. If you look at uh, the online options, the virtual education, uh, technology alone has changed the dynamic of what high school really means. During a public forum Tuesday night, some parents appear to be in favor of adding more schools to house all the students. I personally think the, the more high schools would be the better option. But district leaders say building brand new schools would be the most expensive option. If you build a high school from the ground up, that's your most expensive. But if you add on to existing campuses that we have and build them into high schools, it's not as expensive. During that forum, Mendenhall discussed repurposing a $370 million bond approved by voters last year to help with the addition. And the bond money for that bond would run through 2028, but because it was not approved by voters to include those high schools, voters would have to ultimately reapprove it again to include those high schools. The school hope or the school district, I should say, hopes to have a final decision sometime in May. Live tonight in Broken Arrow, covering news that matters. Jonathan McCall, Fox 23 News.